Okay, we've got a first order differential equation with partial fractions. Now here, they kind of hinted you, they've told you to write it in partial fraction form in part A. So what I would always recommend, okay, so we've got A minus 5, A plus 3. Um, we've used A, so maybe we use C over A minus 5 plus B over A plus 3. So we get C, A plus 3. B, A minus 5, when A equals 5, um, and all of this equals 1. When A equals 5, we get 8C equals 1, so C is an eighth. And when A equals minus 3, we're going to get minus 8B equals 1, so B equals minus an eighth. So we can then write it as... And I would just write it, I wouldn't try to put the 8 on the bottom. The way I'd represent that is, I, you're going to rewrite this, but I would have on top of the a minus 5, I'm just going to have an eighth. And on top of the a plus 3, I'm going to have minus an eighth. Okay. The depth of the water in the tank a meters is modelled by the differential equation where t is the time in days from when the monitoring began. Now you're going to see this word, differential equation, right? Um, and differential equation, sorry, there you go, in the question. And your brain is going to go separate variables. I'm going to put all the a's on one side and all the t's on the other side. And my dt has to be up and my da has to be up. And they can't kind of exist without each other. We've been told to do this. So we want one side to look at this because it's going to help us. So if we do 1 over a minus 5, a plus 3. So I'm moving that down there. da, and remember da can't live without an integral sign. Equals, we bring the dt up, the integral of 1 over 40 dt. Minus 1 over 40. So to integrate what we have there, we're going to rewrite it as with our partial fractions. So we've got 1 over 8 a minus 5. And then plus minus 1 over 8 a plus 3 dA. Yeah. That's fine. And then that equals, and we can just integrate the other side straight away because it's just minus 1 over 40 d, um, minus 1 over 40 t. So it's just with respect to t. So when we're integrating 1 over, we get ln. So it's 1 over 8 ln a minus 5 minus 1 over 8 ln a plus 3. And we've got to put plus c, and I'll just put it on that side for the moment. Right, in the question, it tells us the time taken for the depth of water in the tank to fall to eight, right, is what we're trying to find. Sorry, I didn't read the question. The initial, that's what I was looking for, was 13. And then we're going to have to solve it. All right, I was jumping ahead of us. So let's start with the beginning bit. We need to find our plus C using the fact that when t equals 0, a equals 8, 13, 13. Okay, I'm obsessed with 8 today. Right, so 1 eighth ln 13 minus 5 minus 1 eighth ln 13 plus 3 equals t is 0, so that disappears, as that's going to give me c. So my c is going to come out as... Um, there we've got. So we're going to have 1 eighth ln 8 minus 1 eighth ln 16 equals C. Right. Now, what you can do is you can combine it all now, but what I tend to do is leave everything like that, stick it all back into the formula, and then I'm going to times everything by 8 to get rid of those 8, and then I'm going to combine my logs equals minus 1 over 40t plus ln 1 8 ln 8 
minus 1 8 ln 16. So I'm going to times everything by 8. And I'm going to try sort my log, put all my logs on one side. So I'm going to get ln a minus 5. The 8 is going to disappear. This is take away, so this is going to go on the bottom, a plus 3. I'm going to move this onto this side, and so that's going to become ln 16, which I can multiply by, um, sorry, yeah, multiply by, and then I'm dividing by the 8. So actually, I'm just timesing that by 2, and I get minus 1 over 40t. So if the logs, opening out the logs confused you, do times 8 first, then put all the logs on one side. So you'll get 8 over 40 as well, which you can rewrite as 1 over 5. And if you, or 0 0.2, if you look at your answers, we seem to be going in the right direction. Okay, so this is the same as 8 over 0.2t. Okay, so you're timesing everything by 8, you're putting all the logs on one side. Now you want to get rid of the ln. The opposite of ln is e. So if we e both sides, you've got e to the minus 0.2t. And at this point here, you've got six out of the seven marks. So don't spend hours with the manipulation. So all you're doing for this last bit is rearranging it to make a the subject of the formula. So I multiply up and I'll get a lots of e 0.2t plus three e to the minus 0.2t going to move the a's onto one side. Um, so I'll get 2a minus a e to the minus 0.2t equals 10 plus 3e to the 0.2t. Take a outside the bracket and hopefully you can see you will have your answer. Okay. Next bit says, hence now we get to find out what, how, how long it takes it to four to eight. So we're gonna make this, and even if you didn't get that first bit for whatever reason, you can still do this bit, because you're gonna make it equal to eight. Equals eight. All right, when I multiply that up, I'm gonna have eight times three to give me so I've got 10 plus 3e to the minus 0.2t equals 24 minus 8 lots of e to the minus 0.2t. Put them all on one side. Get 11 lots of e to the minus 0.2t equals 24 minus... So we're going to have 24 take away 10. So we're going to get 14. Okay, let's check if we've done that right. So, oh, that should be a two, not a three. Um, right, so it's 16. That's a bit better. Okay, so if you were staring at that wondering what I'd done, it's because I'd done something wrong. So that's gonna give me 16 minus 10, so that's gonna give me six. Okay, and then you've got e to the minus naught t equals six over 11. To get rid of the e, you've got to ln it. So ln 6 over 11. And then you divide by minus 0 0.2, which is the same as multiplying by minus 5. And they want time, so you could find the time, but because they don't say anything, you could just leave it exact. Double check that gives you a positive number, which it will do because ln is negative. When it is, ln, if it's a fraction, is negative. Right, according to the model, the depth of the water will eventually fall to n. State the value of the constant n. Well, we just take our leading coefficients, which don't have any minuses, because as t gets bigger and bigger and bigger, e to the minus naught t tends to zero. So we're going to get, as we get bigger and bigger and bigger, the leading coefficients of 10 or 2 are what's left. So we end up with, um, according to the model, n equals 10 over 2, so 5. Okay, so I hope that's useful. Um, make sure you can do partial fractions.